Okay, everybody. Hey there, this is the first lecture on predicate derivations. And as you can see, I think I figured out a way to put my picture there, as you can see, and you can also see the slides. So I'm going to talk through the first section of the slides for this video uh, uh, just to get an introduction. Okay, so what are predicate derivations? Uh, there we go. Uh, so we're going to go through section one here. Um, predicate derivations are uh, ways of proving arguments in predicate logic to be valid. So just like uh, our sentential derivations helped us show that sentential arguments were valid, the same thing is going to be true for these predicate derivations. Um, the only difference, or the big difference, uh, is that instead of using sentential formulas, we're going to have predicate formulas. So we're going to have x's and y's and quantifiers. But here's the good news. The basic structure of derivations is the same in predicate as it was in sentential. What I mean by that is this. All of our old rules, rules like and out, and in, or out, or in, arrow out, all of those rules, in fact, all of the rules that you see on the, um, the rule sheet that's posted on Moodle, all of those are still rules. They still apply, and st they still work exactly the same way. Moreover, all the old proof techniques are still proof techniques. So direct derivation, indirect derivation, and conditional derivation uh, all just work uh, in the same way as they did before. There's two important differences. First, uh, which is really just a trivial difference, uh, the atomic formulas are going to look different. Instead of having, you know, capital P and capital Q, uh, we're going to have predicates and constants, or predicates and variables and quantifiers. So things are going to look a little different, but that doesn't really change much. much. Uh, that's the first difference. The second difference is that there's going to be a few extra rules. We're going to have to have a few extra rules to deal with our quantifiers uh, in particular. Uh, but let me just show you how similar it is, just with a simple example here, uh, uh, how similar it is to sentential derivation. So consider an argument like this. Um, this says, if everything is f, then everything is g. Everything is f, therefore everything is g. If you were going to try to provide a derivation for this, you could do so in exactly the way that we did in sentential. That is, you don't need any new rules um, to show that this is valid. And what I mean by that is illustrated here. So here we've got the premise written down. If everything is f, then everything is g. Everything is f, and we're trying to show that everything is g. Well, from 1 and 2, hopefully you can see that we can apply arrow out, because again, we've got, here's our a, arrow, b, and we've got a by itself. So we can get uh, b here. That is, universal y, g, y follows from 1 and 2 by arrow out. And that's what we were trying to show. Uh, so the proof is done. It's just a simple direct derivation. Uh, so that's the basic idea behind these predicate derivations. Uh, all of the old things we did are still going to apply. The only thing we, n we need to learn new are a couple of extra rules um, and one extra proof technique, one extra derivation technique. So that's what the remaining videos will do. Uh, walk through some of the exam uh, sorry, walk through uh, how the new rules work and then give some examples.